Hello everyone. Provincial youth conventions are coming up soon. An update to ARPA's policy report on assisted suicide and victory in court regarding summer jobs. It's Wednesday, September 29th, and this is Quick Updates. So we're getting closer to the provincial youth conventions. Here's Ryan. Thanks, Colin. You know, most of us know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The young men of Israel, they found themselves in exile in Babylon. And once there, they were forced to bow down to a golden image of King Nebuchadnezzar. And if they refused, they faced certain death in a fiery furnace. But instead of caving to the very real pressures of life and death around them, they said to the king, if we're thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. And he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you've set up. Even if our God chooses to not deliver us and our land from some of the terrible policies we've seen, even if things do get worse, God's children are still called to action and prayer. So on October 15th and 16th, we're hosting youth conferences in three different locations here in Canada, one in British Columbia in Langley, the other in Alberta in Coaldale, and the other one here in Ontario in Hamilton. So head on over to arpacanada.ca forward slash even hyphen if, or click the link below for more information and links to the registration pages. Back to you, Colin. Thanks so much, Ryan. Again, be sure to sign up at arpacanada.ca slash even dash if. Now an update to ARPA's policy report on assisted suicide has happened. Here's Anna with more. Hey everyone, due to changes in the law this year, we've just released an updated version of our assisted suicide and euthanasia policy report. It gives a brief history of how we got to where we are in Canada and also exposes the ableist mindset that now allows doctors to decide who to offer suicide prevention and who to offer suicide assistance. We share stories of people who felt pressured to choose euthanasia and also facts about how many people choose euthanasia because they feel like a burden to others. We review research on copycat suicide and the potential for social contagion if the media glamorizes and supports suicide. We expect to see continued pressure to expand access to euthanasia to more and more people. As Christians, we cannot stop speaking up for laws that care for and do not kill our vulnerable neighbors. We encourage you to read the report. We'll be sending it to members of parliament, and we ask you to book a meeting with your MP to talk about the recommendations it provides. And you can also find more talking points at our carenotkill.ca website. Back to you, Colin. Thanks so much, Anna. And finally, Daniel Zekfeld joins us to talk about a win in the court regarding Canada summer jobs. Thanks, Colin. You might remember the Canada summer jobs controversy in 2018, where the federal government required applicants to affirm their support for abortion in order to receive funding from the program. The government changed this requirement by 2019, but some organizations were denied funding anyways, with little reason given. Redeemer University and Millstream Bible Camp both applied for funding through the Canada Summer Jobs Program and took the government to court after they were denied that funding. In two separate cases this past summer, the Federal Court of Canada determined that the government had acted unfairly and had denied funding solely because of the Christian beliefs these organizations hold to. The court also cautioned the government to consider fundamental freedoms when administering funding programs. We're thankful for this excellent and important court decision. You can read more about it at the link above. Back to you, Colin. Thanks so much, Daniel. That's it for quick updates this week. Thanks to you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.